Harid took an educational loan from a nationalized bank for his two years course of MBA. He took the loan of rupees 5 lakh such that he would be charged at 7% per annum at compound interest during his course and at 9% uh, compound interest after the completion of the course. He returned half of the amount which had to be paid on the completion of his studies and remaining after two years. What is the total amount returned by Hari? So basically a question which involves compound interest. It says Hari took an educational loan from a nationalized bank for two years of his course of MBA, right? Now he took a loan of rupees 5 lakhs. So the principal amount is 5 lakhs. The principal is 5 lakhs. Now, what is the condition? He would be charged 7% per annum compound interest during his course. During his course means what? During first two years, right? During the first two years, he will be charged at 7% per annum compound interest during his course. His course is for two years. Very clearly, the, it, was, it is given that the course is for two years. And the uh, interest will be 9% per annum compound interest after the completion of his course. After the completion of the course means what? After two years. So basically a simple process where for the first two years, what is the rate of interest? Rate of interest is 7% CI for first two years and 9% CI thereafter. So for the first two years, it is 7%. After that, it is 9%. Now, how was the amount repaid? You see this statement. He returned half of the amount which had to be paid on the completion of his studies. So, on the completion of his studies, meaning what? After two years. Completion of his studies. When will he complete his studies? After two years. So, after two years, after two years, he paid half of the amount which had to be paid. And the remaining, remaining half after two years. Remaining half after two more years. So, on the completion, he paid half of the amount. And after two more years, he paid the remaining amount. What is the total amount written by Hari? What is the total amount written by Hari? So try and understand the timeline. The total timeline is four years if you observe. Zero years, two years, four years. This is completion of his course. Right? This is after two more years. After two more years. So it will become four years. Now what happened? He or he borrowed how much? He borrowed five lakhs. Remember, during this period, he will be charged seven percent per annum compound interest. During this period, he will be charged nine percent per annum compound interest. You know how compounding works, right? So what happened is, at the, so he is he is paying only in two parts. One's here, and second here. After two years, he pays one part. After second years, uh, after two more years, he pays the remaining part. How much did he borrow? He borrowed 5 lakhs in the beginning. He paid some component in the after 2 years and remaining component after 2 more years, which is after 4 years. Now understand, what, what is he saying? He returned half of the amount which had to be paid. See, at the end of 2 years, at the end of 2 years, if you are being charged 7% per annum compound interest, what will be the total interest at the end of 2 years? Go by the effective percentage concept. Now I am not getting into the details. I am assuming that all of you, all of you know how to do the compound interest calculation, right? So going by that, if let's say the rate of interest is 7% per annum and here it is 9% per annum, what will be the total interest in these two years? In these two years, what will be the total interest? 7 plus 7 plus 7 to 7 by 100. You remember compounding process, A plus B plus AB by 100. So for two years, the total interest will be 14.49%. percentage. do not ask me how. This is effective percentage concept which has been discussed in the CI topic, in the compound interest topic. From 0 years to 2 years. The time span is two years. The rate of interest is 7% per annum and it is a compounding process. So we will go by the effective percentage formula A plus B plus AB by 100. A is equal to 7, B is also equal to 7. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 to 7 by 100. So it becomes 14.49. Similarly, in the next two years also, whatever is the amount here, how much will be the total interest in the second span of two years? 9% per annum. Total time period is two years. How much will be the total CI? 9 plus 9 plus 9 into 9 by 100, A plus B plus AB by 100. So 9 plus 9 is 18, 9 into 9 by 100 is 0 0.81, 18 18.81 percentage. So this is very important. In the first two years, he will be charged 14.49 percentage of interest. In the second two years, he will be charged 18.81 percentage of interest. Now, look at the point given here. He returned half of the amount at the end of two years. So basically at the end of two years, 
at the end of two years, a person is supposed to pay how much? He is supposed to pay 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs. Yes or no? He is supposed to pay the principal amount P plus the interest amount I, I1 let's say. And this is I2. This is P. So at the end of first year, he is supposed to pay how much? He is supposed to pay, pay P plus I, P plus I1 at the end of two years. But how much did he pay? He only paid half of it. He has paid only half of it. Which means he paid P plus I1 by 2. At the end of first year, he has paid P plus I1 by 2. What is remaining? The remaining P plus I1 by 2 was paid at the end of second year. The remaining amount P plus I1 by 2 was paid at the end of second year. Uh, at the end of two more years. But on this, furthermore interest will be charged. 18.81 will be charged on this. You getting it? So what is the total amount paid? Look at this. I mean, all this is explanation. You don't have to do this in the exam, right? All that we have put so far on paper is just explanation. This is your mental understanding. What you actually have to write on paper is this. Total amount paid by Hari. Total amount paid by Hari will be equal to this. Total amount will be equal to this. Understand. 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs divided by 2. 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs. When did he pay this? He paid this after 2 years. You remember? This this first part. 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs. Plus the remaining half at the end of 2 more years. What is the remaining half? 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs. Divided by 2. But on the second amount, on the second amount that he has paid, he will be charged interest. Because see, now what happens is at the end of two years when you have paid p plus i1 by 2 what is remaining p plus i i1 by 2 and that p plus i1 by 2 will become the principal for the second next two years his his borrowed amount for the first two years is 5 lakhs the amount that he has borrowed for the next two years is p plus i1 by 2 because p plus i1 by 2 has been returned the other p plus i1 by 2 is the amount for the principal amount for the next two years so on the next two years you will be charged 18.81 percentage of this one so he will pay 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs at this point plus how much will he pay at the end of two years he will pay the balance amount 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs plus 18 percentage on this one so i think overall if you observe i mean i can directly write 118 percentage here i mean if you if you have understood the concept it will be 118.81 percentage of this this is the total amount that he has paid I mean, calculation is your lookout. I'll leave it to you. But understand, he is paying 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs by 2 after 2 years. At the end of 2 more years, he will pay the balance amount 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs plus 18.81 percentage on the interest amount. So that is why I am taking 100 plus 18.81. Don't get confused. I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll split this. This will be... 100% plus 18.81%. So this is one component. This is the other component. In the other component, there are two parts. He will pay 5 lakhs plus 14.49 percentage of 5 lakhs by 2 plus 18 percentage interest on this amount. Right? Principal plus interest. Yeah. Now do the calculation. This whole calculation has to be done and you'll get the final answer. I mean, calculation is your lookout. The concept is important. And if options are given, maybe you can do an approximate calculation also to get the answer. Like for example, 14.49 can be taken as 14.5 approximately. 14.5 percentage of 5 lakhs. 14.5 percentage of 5 lakhs. What is 14.5 percentage of 5 lakhs? 10 percentage of 5 lakhs is 50,000. 4.5 percentage of uh, 5 lakhs will be how much? Uh, it will be 22,500. So, it will be 72,500. So, 5 lakhs plus 72,500. Divide by 2. And on that same value, again, take 118.81 percentage. Right? So, I think calculation is your lookout, but this is the final answer. I think just to help you uh, with the final numerical value, uh, I am not doing the full calculation here, but I think it will come out around 6,26,288. Approximately 6 lakhs. 26,288. This is the final answer. Approximately again. Yeah. I mean, when you do that calculation, you will arrive at this value. 288 point something.